Hello there, today I'm going to show you how to write some basic queries to start extracting event information from your GA4 data. In previous videos we looked at how to set up the BigQuery export, how to access the sample data sets and looked at an overview of the data structure. So you may want to go back to those videos if you're just starting out. Each day GA4 will export a new table to BigQuery containing all the events captured the previous day. Each row within that table represents a single event. And that row includes multiple columns containing data about the event. What events you'll have in your exported data will obviously depend on what's being collected by your property. You are, however, likely to see automatically collected events, things such as page views, screen views, session starts, etc. You may also see custom events if you've enabled e-commerce tracking then things like purchases and add to carts. Or if you're triggering other events, then it could be something like a login or a sign up. It really depends on your implementation. So one of the first things you might want to do is to query and see what events are actually being collected. To do so is very simple. We just need to select the distinct event name from our data set. Let's run that and see what happens. You'll see we've now got a list of all the events which have been collected. You can then start writing other queries that might target these specific events. You might want to return a count of how many times each event has occurred. To do so, we will select event name, a count of star, that will just count all the rows in the table, and we'll name that event count from our data set. We will group by the event name and we will order by the second column in descending order. Let's run that. We now have a list of all the events again, but this time ordered by the number of times each one has occurred. As I said earlier, you might want to query to target a specific event. To do so is very straightforward. We just need to include a WHERE clause here we're going to select star, that means we're going to select all columns where event name equals purchase. You'll see now it's returned all rows and all columns where the event name is equal to purchase. You might want to filter the data by more than one of them. To do so, again we use a where clause, but this time we'll query where event name in and then in brackets we'll list out all the events that we want to include. And you'll see here we've again returned all the data, all the rows, all the columns, but only where the event name is equal to page view or screen. And that's it for simple queries for you to use to start exploring the data today. Come back in the next video where we will introduce event parameters and talk about how we can start extracting those from the data. See you then.